All right, so moving now to a quick refresh on Name Manager. Uh, I just want to, you know, uh, give this again before we jump into the formulas. Uh, this is exactly the same uh, example we we talked in the intermediate. But just in case you got any questions, let me just clarify it for you. So I'm going to open this uh, example where we were trying to calculate the expenses, the incomes, and then have a name for each one of the formulas. So let's say we want to create a range and call it expense amount. So what we do is select this whole thing, right? Including the, the headers because we want it to automatically name it with the header name. Uh, remember that we cannot have spaces on those names. So Excel automatically will uh, add a underscore. So we want to call this expense amount. We want to call this income amount. And then here we want to calculate the total expenses, then the total income. And when we subtract those, what is remaining? So we start by selecting this whole range. We go to formulas. We can go to name manager and use this one, create from selection, because this will just save me more time. If I click here, create from selection, it's asking me now from where do you want me to get the name? I'm going to say, hey, you're going to take the name from the top row. You click OK here. As you can see now, if I click here, I can see that I got a name already created. When I select it, my name is, you know, my range is this, and it's called expense amount. So now this is all ready to be used in a formula. Similarly, we want to do the same with income amount. So what we're going to do is select including the headers and select all this, you know, range in red. I select it. I create, I go to formulas, create from selection. I want the name to be, uh, to get it from the top row. So I click OK. And now I have my income amount here which is this exact range I told them to, I told Excel to create. Now I'm ready to do some calculations. In my total expenses, I want to do the total of the sum of all this. So I can say my total expenses is going to be the sum of what? It's going to be the expense amount. Uh, as you start typing, it will give you some uh, suggestions. You click here or click tap. It will add it for you. And as you can see, actually, it kind of displays which one it is. You can close the parentheses, click enter, and you got that value is 936. If you want to confirm it, I'm going to select this, and I got the sum is $936. So this is calculating correctly. I want to do the same with the income one. So I got to do the equals sum. Open parenthesis, and instead of just selecting this, you already have a, a range. You can type in income and click tab once you got it selected. You close parenthesis, and now you got the calculation. So I got a total expenses of 936. My total income is 1,910. So I want to do the, re the remaining, which is a subtraction. Now, you can easily do this minus this which gives you, you know, uh, hard references into the cells, or you can just go ahead and select both of them at the same time. Actually, you can select the three of them if you like, and just do cre create from selection. And it's going to get the name from the top row and look what it does. So I selected three rows, so I, I should have created three names simultaneously without creating it. Uh, one by one. So if I go here, now I got total expenses, which is this one. I got total income, which is this one, and my total remaining, which is this one. In case I want to, you know, use it for another formula later on. I already have those created for me. So now when I do this formula, I can say instead of H3 minus G3, I can say, yeah, this is going to be my total income minus my total expenses. There you go. 
So I, I got remaining 974. And in case I want to call that remaining, I can say, yeah, this is going to be my total remaining. Let's say I want to, you know, save 10% uh, of that. And I can just type in times 0.1. And that will give me my savings. Right, and you know, as you can see, you can just continue to reference uh, different names as you continue to build formulas.